Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Edmond Mindaros and for today's quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve if you're coming across an issue with the error code KB5052077 failed to install in Windows 10 computer. So some several factors can contribute to this installation's problems are insufficient disk space, corrupted system files, conflicting software, network issues, and corrupted update components. And without further ado, and let's go ahead. So the first solutions we will do is to disable the third-party antivirus software. So all you have to do is to open up on the search menu. And then you need to type Windows Security and then click Open. Once you open up this Windows Security and here at left side menu and then select Virus and Threat Protection. So click and on right side scroll down. And then here at Virus Threat Protection Settings and then you need to click this Manage Settings. And under here at Virus Threat Protection Settings. And then you will see this real-time protections. So what we do will here is to turn off or disable this real-time protections antivirus. So you need to toggle off this button. If you receive your account control and then click yes. Alright, so once you turn off this real-time protections antivirus and the other solutions we will do is to run Windows Update Troubleshooters. So all you have to do is to open up on a search menu and then here at search for apps and then type troubleshoot settings and then click open and next step. So here are troubleshoots under here at options and then you need to select other troubleshooters and here at most frequent and then you need to select Windows update on on right side and then you need to click this run. And then detecting problems and we need to wait to complete the initializings and the diagnostic process. And then troubleshooting has completed. So whatever the result for this scan, so we need to follow to fix the error. So problem pounds, there's always problems on the system. Check for Windows update issues, this is the one detected. And then you need to follow only the instructions here to fix the error. So after here at Windows Update Troubleshootings and the other solutions we will do is to restart relevant services. So all you have to do is to open up again on a search menu and then type this services and then click open. And once you open up this services and here at services local and on right signs and then we need to find this Windows Update so scroll down and then find this Windows update. All right. So if it is already running and then right click and select restart. If this service is not running and then you go ahead and double click and select this automatic at startup type. So all you have to do is to select and right click. And then you can see this. It is already running. So we need to select this restart and wait to complete the restart process. And after that, so select and double click. And then here at general properties, and then this startup type, and then select this automatic, click apply, and then click OK. All right. And the other keyword that we need to modify is the background intelligence transfer service. So scroll up, and then you need to find this background transfer intelligence service. So once you find already, so same procedure, so select and right click. So this is not already running. So all you have to do is to select and double click. And then here at general properties, so this is startup type and then you need to select automatic, click apply and then click OK. All right. And the last keyword that we need to modify is the cryptographic services. So we scroll down and locate this cryptographic services so once you find already so select and right click and then you can see this this is already running so you need to select restart 
and wait to complete the restart process. And after that, so same procedure, select and double click. And then here at General Properties, at Startup Type, and then select Automatic. Click Apply, and then click OK. Alright, in hope to resolve the problem. And then after here at Services, then we need to close. And then here at Startup Type, and then you need to restart again. Alright, so that's it guys on how to fix KB5052077 failed to install in Windows 10. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.